All right, guys, we're back. Um, in this video, we're just going to do a quick overview of how to hook up the uh, multifunction control unit on the uh, Tamiya uh, Scania R620. So the first thing you're going to need to do is figure out what lights go where. Um, in this booklet, on your Scania booklet, your back pages, uh, 28 and 29, they actually give you a quick rundown of what goes where. Um, this picture here is showing your your coupler. It doesn't come in the multifunction kit, but it's showing you how it gets installed. And then we've got our front bumper. Um, you can see that we have an auxiliary light R. Uh, and an auxiliary light F, so one R and one F in each side, and then over here we've got a uh, winker F, we've got a fog lamp, and we've got a headlamp, and those are the same identical on each side. Um, if you're choosing to, you can use uh, roof lamps also. They'll light up differently at different times when you control the unit differently. And then you can also use just one headlight. Um, and use the uh, headlight stay that they provide with you. Uh, and then we'll switch to the page 29. And we'll start at the top. It shows us our tail light section. Um, it shows us putting in a winker R. And a tail, light, uh, tail lamp. You notice they don't give you a backup light either. They offer a backup light option, but it's a 3 mil backup light, and the hole is 5 mil, so it don't fit in there. You have to get yourself another 5 mil white uh, LED, so just be aware of that. Um, then we have our control unit, how it goes together. We've already covered that one, but this is where you find it to see how it goes. <clears throat> this one is your speaker. Uh, you can see it just screws into your roof, and they provide this gray cover, or black cover, separately. Um, we then have our shaker unit and our control unit that go onto the board, or onto the uh, front end of your truck. So, now that we know where everything goes, um, we're going to go ahead and look over briefly the, uh, the control unit setup. Now in control unit booklet on page four, they have this little diagram. This diagram shows what each port is labeled. And then it shows you where your receiver, your three servos, your motor, your battery, and your speaker get plugged into, as well as your control unit. This is your brain, uh, this is the brain, but this is the control unit for the whole operation. <clears throat> um, so that, that, it, explains exactly where everything's going to go as well as this helps you with your LEDs. This is where all your LEDs plug in. You'll notice that it goes 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, all the way up to 20. Now 17 is highlighted because they don't give you enough LEDs to fill this board. So they offer it as like an option. You can order this uh, separate option. Um, and then there, again, there's 21 through 27 up here. Um, these are your outputs. You'll have a steering, you'll have a shift, and you'll have a leg output, the leg support output. And then these ones here are your inputs. They're just um, steering, throttle, leg, and shift. And then that's one of your plugs for your control brain. Um... We also have this guy up here, J28. This is where your trailer lights would go. You just plug that in there if you had the trailer light kit. So, now that we know where all these go, we're going to figure out what they all are. Now here on page 5 of the control unit booklet, there is this little blow up list right here. Um, starting with J8 all the way up to 32. Those are all your wires that you're going to be plugging in. Um, they're all labeled. 
So output steering, output support legs, output shift. Those are all labeled. Um, then your harness and your your harness from your control unit. Uh, that's your coupler switch. Um, the colors are kind of confusing if you've not dealt with colors very often. But this is green black. You know, white black, white black, white green, white blue. Is that white blue, white blue? Oh, wait. White blue, white black, white blue, red black, yellow brown, yellow green, yellow green, yellow blue, yellow blue, yellow blue. Yellow blue yellow black and yellow black so you'll notice that all those are colored and then they have a corresponding label what they're gonna do speed indicator your winkers or your blinkers for America roof lamps tail light reverse light see they give you the reverse light but it's a three mil that's what that stands for is three millimeter LED where that's a five millimeter LED so main beams uh, auxiliary lamp R and F these two go in the bumper fog lamp headlight coupler switch that's back in your coupler assembly so that's that's pretty much basically it once you've got that done um, I already did a video on how to do your trim and everything. Uh, so yeah, once you've got that figured out and how that works and how everything gets plugged in, they only get plugged in one way. They only plug in one way. There's, you know, you can't plug it in backwards and break anything. They only um, allow you to plug it in in one direction. So here's like our coupler switch. And we know that our coupler switch is down here on 12. So you should be able to just line it up and give it a small push. And it should click right in. If it doesn't, then it's backwards. So, But it won't go in if it's backwards. See? No matter how much I push, it's just not going to clip in. So that is that. Um... I think we're done. That's just you know a quick overbrew of what we got going on. These are your control harnesses. Your soundboard goes there. Um, yeah, I think we're good. So I hope that helps. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, Speedy Mech signing off.